you have a very good illustration of how Donegal will set up defensively. Well, I mean, Jim invented this thing to prevent people scoring. So, the, I mean, this is the very first play of the Dublin Donegal game, and it just shows that this is how they set up from start to finish. Everyone knows exactly what his role is. So, what you've got is inside. Now, Paul Flynn scores a brilliant point from about 48 metres. But if you look from the rear, you'll see that's the first play. That perimeter outside that scoring zone, there's a perimeter there. You're not allowed into that. You'll shoot from out there. Inside, there are two forwards. They're both being double marked. Now, Dublin very successfully for maybe 20 minutes shot from out there. But very quickly, they started to become worn down. You'll see that the Donegal inside defenders are not only protecting the goals, but they're always facing the play. So they're attacking the man on the ball. They're never turned running towards their own goals, which is how most teams score their goals. You get a defensive team on the run. Mm. Donegal are always in position. So you try to come inside, into that scoring area. There's just no room. They're all over you. I mean, Dublin are the most fearsome sort of goal scoring machine in the game. They didn't score any goals. They had two half chances. And as the game wore on, you could see Dublin panicking, basically. This defensive system remains the same. It doesn't change. Everyone knows its job. It's entirely robotic. And what it does psychologically is it just wearies you and breaks you down. Because eventually, people like Bernard Brogan, who are used to scoring, used to being on the ball, they don't see the ball. When Colin Cooper played against this in 2012, he played well for about the first five minutes. And then he was anonymous. It is the laws of physics. Now, this is near the end of the game, and we're back to exactly the same system that you saw in the first play. So this remains constant. The other thing, of course, that they do is they run very, very hard out of the defence. They're not soft in themselves. You know, they do the hard, hard yards. That's Frank McGlynn, who just a few moments ago was right at the heart of the blanket defence. The other thing that they do is they score from inside that easy scoring area. 90% of their scores come from in there. Hard running through the centre, kicking the ball long to Murphy through the centre for an easy score in there. Their economy is absolutely fantastic. And one, one more point to make about them. They don't foul. In the first half against Dublin, they didn't concede a single free. In the second half, they conceded three frees after the game was won. So, That's a huge his, factor, your point yeah, about yeah. Brian Sheehan. Yeah. It's a very important can, one. Can I make, can a I make team one observation, normally Joe. relies on frees. Can I make one observation on your analysis? You, you say that Dublin had two half chances. They hadn't. They had two fantastic chances well, for goals. Uh, sure, and that's fine. But I'm, I'm suggesting that if one of those goals go in for Dublin, if the two of them yeah. go in, the game is busted. And I don't care what system Don Donegal have. If one goes in, Donegal are in, uh, in, they're, in they're in deep, okay. for sure. Well